Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you um, my big declutter pile. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Jules uh, and I make videos about minimalism and travel and veganism and environmentalism and etc. <laughs> um, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my declutter pile, which is that, that stuff right there. Um, and so this is my pile of stuff that I'm planning on decluttering or that I'm not sure about. Some of it is like on the fence stuff. Um, but I have been wanting to talk about this stuff and I was thinking about trying to do like the 30 day minimalism thing, but I wasn't sure if I had enough stuff to do that. And I just thought that this would be easier. Um, and these kind of are not all going to be gotten rid of in the same way. So like I said, some of them are kind of might get rid of, um, kind of in most cases, those are things that might be getting repaired. Um, some stuff is definitely getting rid of, but like in different ways, like some getting thrown out, some getting donated. Um, I'm going to the US next week, so some of that stuff is potentially going to the US and either going to family or like donation centers there. So sometimes I do that. Um, I If I want to get rid of something in Shenzhen that I think no one will want, like a winter jacket, because um, it's hot here all the time, then in the US I know that the winter jacket will be better loved, so that kind of thing. Oh, and so for those of you who actually watch my videos on a weekly basis, um, I'm back from Taiwan, which is great. I've got a lot of footage, but I do not have time to actually deal with it uh, right now, so you're gonna have to wait to watch it, and that's why I'm doing this today because I can film this and edit it and upload it really quickly. <laughs> okay, so on to my pile of shit I want to declutter, maybe. <laughs> so first I've got all of the white t-shirts that I own. Um, yeah, this is, I have, I have five white t-shirts. You can kind of tell that they're not all particularly white. Um, I actually can't, don't think you can tell, but this is quite yellow. Um, but I really, I like how all of these shirts look on me. Um, but they are very, it's degrees of like old and grungy and stained. Um, some like to the point where it's kind of like, okay, I might like this one, like this one's pretty nasty. I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but, um, what I'm planning on doing is trying to wash the stains out of them. And if I can get some of the stains out of these shirts, then I will keep some of them. Um, I feel like this is a category that like, like they have different things on them, like some of them have writing or have like patterns and stuff, but realistically I just like, it's kind of the same vibe to wear any individual one of them, so I don't need to keep all of them, and so I'll see how stain removal goes, and if they're all just disgusting and I need to get rid of them, then I'm just gonna buy a white t-shirt and just have one because it's not a category of clothing that I feel like I need like 10 of. So a lot of the stuff I'm decluttering is in like clothes categories, but I do have some stuff that's not. Um, but next is scarves. So I did recently declutter a couple of other scarves. And so these are just two uh, like infinity scarves, the ones that are like just a big circle that you do this kind of thing to. And what I found is first of all, I have not been wearing scarves at all in like the past two years and where I live we don't have winter but um still I just like even when I'm visiting places with winter these scarves don't do what I want them to do like they don't get up in my neck where I'm actually cold unless I wrap them around three times like this and then they don't look good right I feel like the aesthetic like this is what looks good but it's not what keeps me warm and I have other scarves that actually keep me warm when I need to be kept warm, and so I'm getting rid of all of my infinity scarves, which right now is only two of them. Or, I actually have one more, but it's like a big fluffy one, and it actually does keep me warm. But these two are just like, they look cute, but they ain't doing anything. So I'm just, it's time for them to go. I've had them for a long time. It's something I've been debating for a long time, but I'm finally ready to actually get rid of Apparently we're gonna keep going on this accessory train. I've got some hats and these um, so I've got these three like hats that for a while were my jam, but like I still never, never didn't wear them like every day like and I still 
I like them, but this kind of hat isn't really stylish anymore. And I feel like I haven't gotten good enough use out of them, but I also, like, they take up a lot of space and I don't wear them anymore. This literally, like, I was at a secondhand swap a couple months ago and someone was like, ah, oh, you should take this, like, for freezies. And I'm um, like, like, it's funny and it's like, whatever, but like, I'm, ne I'm never going to use it. So, um, I'm definitely just getting rid of that. And then I've got this one beanie. So I am a beanie wearer at all times, all days, every day, every minute. Um, and so, but like this one's just a little old and ratty and like, it was once white, but it's like kind of nasty now. Like, um, and I have another, like, I don't, I don't wear this one anymore. I have another beanie that I wear pretty much every day, so I don't feel anything. Um, so I have a couple of items that are just worn out and getting tossed, basically. Um, some underwear that you don't have to see, some bras, three, three sports bras, actually, um, that the elastic on the straps just are super stretched out, and, like, I tried to, like, re-sew them and fix them, but it just didn't work, so they're just going. And then this pair of leggings, which are like kind of a thicker, like warm leggings. So I liked them as like wintery leggings, um, but I tore a hole in them and then I tried to re-sew the hole, but then it got like where the hole was is like, like itchy and uncomfortable because I guess I didn't sew it super well or because I hand sewed it or I don't, I don't know. So I just kind of like, oh, well, I just don't want to wear these ever. And... New Year's resolution. One of my New Year's resolutions is to be good to myself um, and not continue to wear these even though I do not like them. So I am finally getting rid of them even though I've had them with that hole in them for like two years and just been dealing with it. This pair of leggings I'm getting rid of for a different reason. The, uh, these are actually in perfectly good condition um, and I think they're really cute but they have this like mesh back of the knee and it's just uncomfortable and the leggings themselves are a little tight on me and so I just never ever wear them anymore. Um, I do really like they have this um, like key pocket that's like invisible and I actually really like that like these are in such good condition I feel like I don't know if I could sell them but I definitely could like maybe sell them for a little bit or something like but these are these are one of the few things I'm getting rid of that are like in peak condition, but I'm getting rid of them anyway, which is really hard for me, but I think I have to do it. Another difficult one is these pants. These are just like some like royal blue jeans from H&M that I've had forever. And like, I, I always like in my head, I'm like, oh, I love like these, but I only wear them occasionally because first of all, the zipper like comes down, like it's not, it doesn't like work properly. So it like comes down every five minutes. Um, and I was like, oh, they're just not fitting me well because I need to lose a little bit of weight. And like realistically now they fit me around the waist because I have lost a little bit of weight, but they're still like, they don't have any stretch at all. And so in the thighs, they're just still super uncomfortable. And so I don't feel good when I wear them. And I, when I'm not wearing them, think that I'm going to feel good. And then once every three months when I actually go about wearing them, I'm like, oh, I look better in my blue jeans, like, or in my black jeans, and, eh. Um, so I've been debating getting rid of these for literally years. Like, I've had these at least four years, and, no, probably more than that, probably five or six years, and I, whew, I'm only getting rid of them, which is really hard for me. Oh my god. Okay, I'm taking a long time, so I'm gonna run through the rest of my clothes a little bit more quickly. So I've got this jacket that I love, um, a lot, but it is so old and torn and, like, I've, like, re-sewn back together shittily, but, like, patches of, like, parts where it's ripped up and the sleeves recently started to, like, f fall apart. Um, and so at first I was going to have this replicated, uh, by a tailor in Shenzhen because that's, like, a really easy thing you can do and it's honestly not super expensive. And then when I was in Taiwan, someone gave me a jacket just like this. This is corduroy and the one he gave me is denim, but the style is exactly the same. It has the same like um, 
flannel interior, the same kind of thing, but it's just too big. So I brought that to the tailor and I'm having her size it to fit me, um, which I'm super excited about because now I'm going to have basically a replica of this jacket, but that actually fits me. And I think that means I can let this go. And next I've got this cardigan, which I don't wear cardigans. I wear, I've worn this occasionally, but what I realized is that I like how this looks like on camera. Um, or in a mirror, but when you look up close, it's just like it looks old and ratty and pilled really badly. Um, and so, like, I feel like I look okay, but I also feel like it makes me look ratty. And so I feel like it just makes sense for me to finally get rid of it, because I, I don't wear it that all that often anyway, and the few, one or two times a year I wear it, then I'm just like, uh, I don't, I don't feel good. This is just a hoodie that I had from college that, oh god, you can see um, there are some stains on here. I recently tried to get the stains out, it didn't work, and so um, I like the like weight of this. It's like kind of light, and so I felt like it was useful, but I'm realizing like it's got stains on it, I'm never going to wear it in public, so, and I have other sweaters that are like my comfy like at home sweaters already anyway, so I don't need this. Um, and it, it's from college, and I do have a lot of stuff that's, like, sentimental, like, college, like, from college, like, it has college logo on it. Um, so I have other stuff like that that's sentimental, but this one happens to be not sentimental. Like, I don't care, I don't remember, like, it doesn't give me the feelings like other ones do, so I can keep the other ones and just get rid of this, and I don't really care. Uh, next I have this skirt that I got when I was in Thailand, which is really... I mean, like, I don't, I don't wear skirts, I'm not, but, nah. but, um, I thought it was cute at the time and totally worth the money that I spent on it, but I've literally never worn it because I had this other sarong that I got that if I'm at a beach and I want, like, this is, this is actually convenient and useful, and I can tie it around my waist like a skirt, I, you know, um, I actually mostly just bring this traveling with me and use it as an extra blanket or a pillow. Um, but because I like that one so much better, I never, ever, ever use this. This one is a kind of more chopping block, not really short item, and it is this nice jacket that is like a light jacket, like lightweight. It, it's a little, not cropped, but like comes maybe to here, which like most of my jackets come a little lower than that. And it's okay, but it's thin enough that I can't wear a lot under it, but then is it keeping me warm question mark so like I just don't really wear it and so I want to force myself to wear it a couple times um and and see how I feel okay I'm getting close to the end woohoo um so I've got this uh travel towel but it's like a small size travel towel like not a full body size um and now I have a full body size one so I just I'm hoping someone will want this um I've got this tin um that's just like a food little storage sorry that's gonna be loud container that's got like little compartments um, I'm just not a huge fan of it I used it for a while it doesn't work for me so I want to give it to someone else this one I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly about but I'm thinking about getting rid of my tablet because um, it's kind of old and doesn't work super well I'm not sure if I can really sell it for anything but I also like just don't use it like, I can't, I just, maybe someone else is good enough to be able to figure out how to get it to work better, but it's quite old, and I didn't pay anything for it, it was a gift, um, and it was already secondhand when it was given to me, so, yeah, this, it might be time for this guy to go. I've got this pair of boots that, like the white shirts, I'm going to hopefully repair. I really like them, but the heel. So I just think if I can glue them back together, then I can use them for, like, another season, and that's enough for me. So next I have these um, brushes that are like uh, dye brushes for dyeing my hair. I have another one that I'm keeping and then I have three of them that I'm getting rid of. I'm going to try to give them to my mom to see if she wants them because she's a hairdresser and like maybe she could find use for them. I've got a bunch of pencils and markers, sharpie, sharpie markers in every color and a bunch of pencils. Um, I've been on this kick where I'm like, I'm going to use up every single pen and pencil I own and then only buy one to replace it. Um, but I have a lot of them, and so it's taking a long time, and I don't use these that often, and I don't use these that often. So 
I might as well just give them to someone that might use them better. My sister is a teacher and knows a bunch of teachers, and I imagine that I, they can find a place for a bunch of pencils and sharpies. And last but not least, this is something I do want to sell and need to figure out how I'm going to sell it, which is this backpack. It is a 30 liter backpack I got um, two years ago. It's barely used, like you can see it's a little dirty, but it's in really, really good condition. I just want a bigger one, and I, so I just don't use this one because it's just not a size that like, like I can't fit enough more in it than my like regular backpack that it's worth using like it, uh, organizationally like it's just the front and there's nothing else and so I feel like I don't know it's just not for me and I just want to get rid of it and get one that I will like better um, and then I've also got this like rain cover um, that's for this size bag so when I get rid of this that's going with it. So that is everything those are all of the things that I'm planning on um, getting rid of, rid of or decluttering or repairing in the near future. Um, I hope you liked this video. I think it's interesting to watch videos like this and see what people are getting rid of. Uh, I feel like I've got sometimes a lot of random crap I want to get rid of and now my declutter pile hopefully will actually be dwindling because I tend to keep this stuff and hoard it in a pile rather than do anything with it. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.